Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. My dear brethren, today I like to speak about the devotion to Saint Joseph and how it is practiced and according to the uh, testimony of Father Luis Lalma. Uh, Father Luis Lalma is uh, a Jesuit priest, 1588 to 1635, and he was a rector of the Jesuit College at and uh, he, uh, when he was uh, the uh, master of novices, he had a special devotion to Saint Joseph, and he uh, proposed to himself to imitate Saint Joseph in four points. Uh, first, he wanted to imitate Saint Joseph in listening to the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Secondly, he wants to imitate Saint Joseph in order to unite uh, prayers and its daily work, like Saint Joseph did. Thirdly, he wants to imitate Saint Joseph in his respect and love towards the Blessed Virgin Mary, and uh, especially the, 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 uh, the Saint Joseph's daily life, seeing. Blessed Virgin Mary's example and living together the, that, in, uh, that uh, model in the community life uh, with Our Lady and uh, imitate, be influenced by the, the good example of Our Lady and the presence of Our Lady and especially her virginity, her charity, her maternity and so on. Also, and lastly, uh, Father Lalma wanted to imitate Saint Joseph in the the uh, intimacy with our Lord Jesus Christ. Especially Saint Joseph was ad in admiration of the humility, self-denial, and uh, the, uh, the condescension of the Word of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. So his uh, self-denial and the obedience. So Saint Joseph wanted to imitate our Lord in humility and obedience, also himself, uh, rendering service, living in, with intimacy with our Lord Jesus Christ. So Father Luis Lalma uh, made great progress in the, his holiness. And I want to tell you about how St. Joseph rewards those who promote his devotion his, for his honor. And Father uh, Lalma uh, had uh, two disciples, also professors, which is Father Paul Haguno and Father Jack Nue, both a Jesuit priest, and Father uh, Haguno uh, after, afterwards became a missionary to Canada, and he made a, a, a great work in Canada and baptized 3,000 Hurons and so on, so on. And great man. Father, Father Jack Nure is also a very famous author, spiritual author. But when they, they were, both of them are teaching at this college, Father Lama proposed to his these two disciples, two fathers, that if they promote the, 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 the devotion changes to the, the students, seminarians, uh, they will have lots of rewards from St. Joseph, and uh, they did it, two priests did it, and they prepared the, the, the seminarians for the Feast of St. Joseph, and then they, they make seminarians to receive Holy Communion in honor of St. Joseph, and really St. Joseph rewarded two priests, and they, the especially Father Nue, asked St. Joseph to, to give a special inspiration to write a book about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, and he made it wonderful achievement. And also, Father uh, Haguno, we don't know what he asked, but I'm sure, seeing his exemplary missionary work in Canada, uh, he, he, the Saint Joseph was so generous to reward him. So, if we have a devotion to Saint Joseph, we have a progress in the holiness, and Saint Joseph. If we want to promote this devotion, 
the Saint Joseph, he, Saint Joseph will reward us and with many blessings. And so we would like to uh, encourage you to have a great devotion to Saint Joseph for our holiness, for our advance of spirituality, and also let us uh, promote the devotion and love the theme to, of Saint Joseph to many people so that Saint Joseph will bless us. And uh, so just our priority society services, Japan also wants to promote the devotion to Saint Joseph so that we will receive many blessings and this blessing will also go to you. May Saint Joseph bless you all and Saint Joseph pray for us. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen.